Good morning, you're watching Amusaholics and today we're checking out the Viking Museum which is next door to, sort of to Groenland. Yeah, not far at all is it? Yeah, it's just a few steps away, well a few steps, maybe a few hundred steps, but <laughs> not far away at all, it's literally a stone's throw away. Um, it's a bit of a museum-y district actually, there's also a yeah, spirit museum uh, and a shipwreck museum as well as another, we decided to check out the Viking Museum. So. Uh, Vikings are quite fascinating to us, aren't they? So we thought, yeah, yeah. we'll check that out while we're here. Yeah, we'll check before it out. we carry on on our trip. If you didn't already check out our uh, vlog from Groenland yesterday, check that out. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into the Viking Museum and, and take a look while we're in Sweden. Yeah. Just before we get into the Viking Museum, we just popped for a quick walk down the waterfront. And we're just amazed by the view. Lots and lots of to see here. All the different ships and buildings in the distance. Absolutely amazing. There's a hop on, hop off ferry dock. Which takes you around various places in the city. There's a bit of a map, gives you an idea. There's also a board here showing what else is on the island. There's an awful lot to see and do. It's a shame we're not here for a bit longer, but looking at this and what we've experienced so far, we'd definitely come back. Here we have a map of the island and the surrounding area. See Groenland down at the bottom on the left hand side. You can see just from that the sheer scale of this island, how much there is to see here. We made it inside the Viking Museum. And right at the top of the stairs, you've got a dragon boat the Vikings used to use to invade I believe it's very cool various different axe heads that they crafted and spears points as well got some authentic Viking armor complete outfit and then you've got Kaylee, who's getting into the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Here we've got a complete history of the Vikings from 740 all the way through. To 1100. Good point kvinnlig shaman som trodde skulle kunna förutsäga och påverka framtiden genom sina ritualer, så kallad Seid. Völvan åtnjöt stor aktning i samhället. Hon var en spåkvinna, mycket kunnig i trolldom, och man trodde att hon kunde locka in fisken i nätet lika lätt som hon skilde unga älskande åt. Att hon kunde förutse en kommande färd och att storm och sol lydde hennes önskan. Lycka och fördärv. Allt ansåg man låg i hennes händer. There's a whole range of different characters you can hear from here. A number of historical artifacts in here. Including some ancient dog poo, potentially. <laughs> you have a feel of the way to the... Uh, of the axe, yeah, it's pretty, pretty hefty. Sword as well. Some more clothing. Go with a sword. Got Michaela. Oh man, what's that sword? Yeah. You're gonna have some muscles to swing that around. So it's, it's quite a short sword as well. Let's have a quick go. <laughs> So I'll go with the sword then. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's got some heft to it, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Ofta i obegodda bygder som Island, Grönland och Färöarna. De har raka motsatsen till plundrare. 
Upptäckterna syftade till fredlig expansion, inte kritisk. Face to face. The Viking Age man. Some of the textile items found from the Viking era actually made the needles from bone. A number of Viking artifacts, including ear cleaners, combs, and even tweezers. There's a model here showing different parts of a Viking home. We've got the storage room for food, handicraft and bed cooking and dining area, the entrance and the tool shed, and finally the cattle area. <laughs> More Viking artifacts. The keys were usually carried by the female head of the family to show that they were an authority. Just found an interesting room in here. Not too sure about the person on the throne though, looks a bit sketchy over there. <laughs> Pretty cool. I think we could have been Vikings. Apparently board games were very popular. Here's such an example. Into the depths of the Viking Museum. It's quite atmospheric in here. Music and the lighting. Really cool. Viking ride exhibition. Let me tell you what happened with me, Ramfried, and my husband Harold. It's all about brutality and death, but also about love. Fursala Farm. I've inherited the estate from my ancestors. My family have been living here for generations, and I also had a good life at my home. We need at least three barrels. Bring your best men and sail off to Kernogord with slaves and leather. Come home within two summers or it's over. Yes, Renfried. I see hunger. Blood flooding. Robbed silver. Battles that end in misfortune. Beware. You have to borrow leather and slaves from my cousin. Thor will calm down soon, Ulfjorn. We shall take him, Torsten Skull. What do you say, Koga? Well, I say, beautiful goods traveling. <laughs> Worth a lot of silver. Strong and healthy slaves. Real ermine fur for sale. And Harold had sold all leather and half of the slaves, but they were still lacking a barrel of silver. We must continue. And sell the rest of the slaves in Miklagord. There they pay twice as much. Ooh, robbers! Robbers are attacking! Get the robbers! Where the flames brought Toki's spirit to Valhall, and our life back home at the farm had turned into a nightmare. The Holy Church of Wisdom. The God of Christianity's house was like heaven on earth. Harold's reward. A mere bag of silver. 
We're missing more than two barrels. Over there, they're Norwegians. They're armed for combat, yet there's hope to save the farm and our glory. Will you be back soon, Harald? Will you bring anything with you? Yes, Ranfried. Silver! Six barrels! Pirates! My silver! I've got everything from preserves to drinks and magnets, drinking horns, and other artifacts. <laughs> I like the bear. You can also purchase some of the Viking games. Chocolate. Home main candles. Little funny Viking figures. And a variety of sweets. Some boat beer holders. There's an example here, look. Bottle holder, wine holder. So, just been in the Viking Museum. Yeah, it was really interesting. Fantastic. The dark ride was amazing. <laughs> so yeah, it's good. not massive. You can do it. You can do it. I don't know how close you're looking at stuff. You can do it within sort of uh, an hour and a half to two hours, can't you? Um, but yeah, there was a dark ride in there, which you see, you've just seen a little bit of footage of. Obviously, we haven't given everything away. But uh, yeah, very interesting way of telling a story, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, um, it was really, good. really well put together. And obviously, it's not a thrill ride or anything like that. It is literally just a motion car to take you around the story. But yeah, it was a really interesting way to portray the history of the Vikings. I want to know one of their yeah. sort of myths, the story um, about some um, particular Vikings back in the day. Yeah, really um, good. Typical museum. Yeah, I actually for the gift shop got loads of goodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. But uh, no, it's a really good experience if you're in Stockholm then by all means, it's, it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's ready for this one, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. This, this little short little trip before we go on to um, Liseberg. Yeah, we're moving so. on to Liseberg next. So that'll be coming next once we make it up to Gothenburg. Yeah. Well, we hope you get out and explore, explore amusement, amusement parks, parks and more. more. See you See next you. time.